I just got the tent out to check it for my next long distance hike starting very soon and I thought hmm I've put this tent up quite a few times it's time I did a perfect pitch video so I've made quite a few videos about this tent already the snow test the wind test the rain test the bathtub upgrade <laughs> But I'm getting pretty good at putting it up now and uh, I'm going to show you how I do it. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is set my poles to the right height and I set them to 120 centimetres. And then I get the poles and I stick them in the ground. Roughly a metre apart or a bit more. Get the tent and just unroll it between them. And then you can step back and if you look at the way that I've laid it out now, the reason I stick the poles in the ground is because that's where the doors are going to be. So if you want to select a certain view from your tent or access, that's a better setup than just lying them on the ground. Next, tent pegs. I just loosely throw them on the floor, one either door and three at either end of the tent. Time to unfurl the tent and open it up. Now what I do is I get the springy tie outs for the bathtub floor first and I just put them loosely in. The, the four corner ones first, so the two corner ones at this end and the same at the other end. Next, take out your walking pole and put the handle into the cone at the top. And the best way I find to do this is to put it over you like this. And then hold your walking pole firmly in the one hand and you can pull this eyelet down and onto the spike of your walking pole and just put it down. Next is the tie out for the door. Right, you can see that even though it's loosely pegged only in the four corners and we haven't put any guy lines in yet, it's pretty freestanding, even with a bit of breeze. So you can also see this guy line here has got a pre-knotted uh, loop, which is for the peg. I'll come to that later. So just pull this out. It can be anywhere really, as long as it's reasonably taut, stick the peg in. And the same on the other side. And now we can peg out the four corners of the fly sheet. And just put a little bit of tension on each one. So at this point, you might find that it's a bit wonky in certain areas, like the vertical poles and the four tie out points. It's okay, you can go around and reposition each one to line it all up. The next thing is to connect the little ram's horns connector to the doors, which is here. Which is always fiddly, <laughs> and then tighten up. You can just keep this guy line, a continuous line, loop round the peg and then to this bottom tie out point. But then you can't independently tighten uh, the top cone and then the bottom of the doors. So if you tie a knot here and play around with it to get it just to your liking, you can independently tighten those two different things to suit conditions and how you like it. Okay, so the next, and this is one of the most important ones, it's the tautness across the top of the tent between the two cones. And this is why it's really useful to have independent tightening down by the doors. So you can tighten this one up and you can see the top of the tent becoming quite taut now there. And I'll just go around the other side and do the same, this side. And now we're getting close. Now it's the two corner points and that's the strongest part of the tent in terms of tension. So we want to tighten those down, we can pull it quite hard. 
One little tip I've learned is when I first started to set it up, I put the peg for these corner points right in line with the line of the tent, but it, it wasn't so stable in this direction then. So I put it out at an angle. Now I didn't go too far. I've seen people put them at 45 degrees like that, but you can see this here is straining the tie out point and there's actually a pleat there developing. So that's not good for the tent. But if you put it at about 30 degrees, I'd say, or 20 or 30 degrees, it looks nice and uniformly taut in that corner. And if you do that around all four corners, you're creating more of a hexagon rather than a rectangle, which is more stable. Now, I always leave these center tie outs till last because all of the other tie outs around the tent are more important than this, than this one. This one is only to give you a little bit more headroom or foot room. It's not that important. So I don't tie out the guy line either. I just leave it loose. So I'm not worried about independently uh, tightening the top and the bottom tie outs here. Just make it as long as possible. Give yourself plenty of slack. Pull it back as far as you can and stick the peg in. If you tighten this too much, this starts to happen. You get a V appearing in the fly sheet and excessive stress here. We don't want that, so just if that happens, just slacken that off a bit. And then you can re-tighten the outer lines. And that V shape will disappear, but you've still got a little bit of extra headroom and foot room. Okay, so we're almost done now. Now's the time to go around the tent and just make fine adjustments to each of the tie outs, tension up or loosen off as needs be. One extra bit is to add something to pull up this here, this center tie out to give yourself a little bit more headroom or foot room. Now, I know you can buy special poles, but then you've got something else to buy and carry. So I just pick up a stick and position it there, stick it in a little bit, doesn't have to go in much. And then you've got like five or six inches of extra headroom or foot room. One thing I've learned, which is easier than you might imagine, is raising or lowering the height of the tent for better airflow or for temperature if you need to. And that's just be inside the tent here, undo the walking pole, move it up or down according to whichever way you want to go, and then go around each of the tie outs and tighten them up. Now, obviously, if you want to, if you want to raise the tent, you might have to go around the tie outs first, loosen them off a little bit, and then come back inside. But it's as easy as that. You don't have to take the whole thing down and start all over again. So that was a good one. So those are the things that I've learned in all my experience of putting this tent up and taking it down loads of times uh, on trail and in the back garden. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching.